Hello, my friends, and welcome back. It seems like today we have some very, very funny news. Funny not, because they're real. But it seems like we, these uh, countries and people from uh, the Western Europe and uh, North America, we will not only be uh, cold during the next winter and lack and uh, lack gas and you know uh, petrol and um, fossil fuels, but we will probably not have a lot of um, wheat for bread and other stuff. And I'm telling you why, because our uh, intelligent leaders decided to put an embargo and uh, sanction Russia for its invasion in uh, Ukraine. And they're not going to san sanction only the um, uh, fossil fuel, uh, you know, uh, deliveries. But what are they going to do with the grain? You know who produces the most? I know Ukraine is, I think, is on the fourth, fourth place. Now, if it's war in Ukraine, do you think they're going to plant wheat or uh, sunflower for oil? Do you think so? I don't think so, because there are going to be rockets flying, people with AK-47s fighting, tanks rolling. Isn't that what we were told? Total war, the second world war again, all over again. So let's see what Putin has in the stock. They're not going to be starving, I tell you that. This article comes from Reuters. Not that it is, uh, <clears throat> but anyway, it builds credibility. <laughs> uh, May 12, 2022. This is the title. Putin says large Russian grain harvest to support higher exports. Yeah. So that means, guys, start planning because we're going to have a very good market next year. And this year, probably. I don't know if this is still on. So Russia, one of the world's largest wheat exporters, will increase wheat exports this year due to potentially record harvest, President Putin said on Thursday. Russia competes with the European Union and Ukraine for supplies of wheat to the Middle East and Africa. It continues to export despite difficulties with logistics and payments caused by Western sanctions, that's us, on Moscow over the Russian terms, its special military operation in Ukraine. Russia currently expects to harvest 130 million tons of grain in 2022 including 87 million tons of wheat, Putin told a meeting of top economic officials in Moscow. Why is he bothering if it's the, the dictator? Oh, he wants audience? I got the answer. So, and I'm quoting, if this happens, which we are counting on, it could be an all-time record for the wheat crop in Russian history. Now, I don't know if this is true or not, because I lived under <clears throat> certain people who said, man, our... Production is greater than the United States. And we were like, what are you talking about? But nevertheless, so maybe, who knows? And he says, uh, okay, it's the greatest all-time record in Russian history. And then he did not provide an export estimate. How can you? Already, but who knows? Higher exports from Russia in the new July-June marketing season could help to partly meet rising global demand in the event that Ukraine's export remained low and Kiev does not regain access to its Black Sea ports. So, I think that's not going to happen. They could, can't do much. The Russians will tap and will feed us. Like I heard India has to do the same thing, I guess. Higher exports, right? And then Ukraine's ports have been blocked since Moscow began. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, move on. So Russian exports have largely, ma largely managed to resolve problems with logistics and the transfer of payments caused by the Western sanctions imposed on Moscow, like with gas and oil, since late February, and are exporting wheat from the Russian soil side of the Black Sea and sporadically from the Azov Sea. Yeah, and what are they going to do? You're going to not let them export wheat? They want to keep it for themselves. They're going <laughs> to eat it. What are you going to do? Look at them eating it. <laughs> Oh, man, we shoot ourselves in our foot for Ukraine. I understand Ukraine, yes. But why should my children be starving? I don't want to go that far. Do you? If you want, go ahead. Give me your ration of uh, wheat. And I can eat it. 
And I probably will sell it if I have more. Oh man. Shoot yourself in the foot. For what? All this could have been avoided. I'm going to keep saying that. Or at least there were great, very great chances that everything could have been avoided. Well, uh, Minsk agreements didn't have a chance. Why? I guess it had to end up here. So what's going to happen? What's going to happen? Some people will make a lot of money. That's for sure. And that's not you and I. Some people will make a lot. Unless, I don't know, I don't think I'm uh, famous, so uh, people watch me with uh, billions of dollars here. But nevertheless, no Bill Gates. Bill Gates has what? Almost 50%, I think, of uh, uh, the total uh, fields here or something. The United States has got uh, uh, agrarian fields, something like that. I'm not certain. It's uh, but about that. He knows something that we didn't. Really? Look at this, what's happening. It's just a coincidence. He was just smarter than us, right? And he's got the money. So there you go. Could that be a coincidence? Could be. I have no evidence to support my, uh, um, I don't know, fantasy. I don't want to call it even a th theory. But never, it's not that kind of fantasy, but you know what I mean. So nevertheless, they're going to have it. We will not have it. Probably the United States will have it because we got a lot of land. Thank God. So, I don't know what Europe is going to do, because Europe depends on, uh, I know it depends on the fields of uh, Romania and it, in the uh, fields of uh, Ukraine. Those were the main, uh, you know, uh, exporters of, uh, of grain and Russia. Now, if these guys are gone, Romania will become all of a sudden, uh, what? You can't increase, you have, a, you have a finite plot that, you use, that you're using. You can't make that bigger. What, are you going to cut the mountains down? Are you going to dry the sea? And you're going to plant over there? So, you know, it's, it is as it is already. You're going to increase the, the productivity? How? It's already like, an, I'm not saying it's impossible, but you, you, there are certain rules that you can plant certain things at certain distances. You have to, you know, uh, water them. You have to, you can't go like, oh, we're going to put it, not this, this, I'm going to put it this distance. It's not going to grow like that unless you continue to modify it and make it like plastic. And you can put it next to one another like this. And then we eat because anyway, we are in this situation. What's next? So oil gone, gas gone, coal gone, uh, wheat gone, uh, sunflower oil gone. What's next? Uh, vodka gone. <laughs> I should have started with that probably. Vodka's gone. I'm not a drinker of vodka, but I know some people are. So anyway, what else comes from Russia? Uh, ladies of the night gone. I don't know. Just kidding. Thank you very much for being with me again. Uh, start storing some wheat in your basement, or in the sheds outside. Uh, stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth, and be just. See you with a lot of wheat.